like in actual Namie's stores which is a beauty supply store in California I think is the only place it's in but they did say that they are restocking this month sometime they have not come out with official date but if they have by the time this video goes up I will leave it down in the description box I don't have too much to say in this intro so let's just go ahead and jump into this collection and me testing it out if you guys want to see this collection tested out and my final thoughts on the collection, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I brought you guys in a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. <sighs> I did go ahead and do my brows off camera so it'll save us some hours. And we can just go ahead and jump right into the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start by priming just using my concealer. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe M334 and I'm going to blend out that concealer. So today for the matte shadows, we are going to be going in with something that I have been dying to get my hands on and thankfully I was able to get it today, the day that I'm filming this. And it is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette and this is in Sugar Rush. This to me looks like a dupe for the Naked Heat Palette. This look is inspired by Desi. She did a look using the same colors that I'm gonna kind of be using and she used the Naked Heat Palette. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this kind of bone colored shadow first. And this is going to just set that concealer down. It's gonna give us a nice base to work on for the other colors so that they blend out nice. We don't have any problem. So then I'm going to grab my Sigma E40 brush. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. And this is gonna act as our transition shade. Now I'm going to take this kind of corally pink shade. And I'm gonna focus that a little bit lower in the crease and on the outer half. And then next I'm gonna go in with this color. I'm going to be specifically putting it on the outer V and in the outer crease, kind of making a V shape with it. And I'm gonna be using the Morphe R39, flicking it a little bit upward and outward to give us kind of that, kind of a winged look. And if it's not super precise, don't worry. We will go back in and clean it up with some makeup remover. Now I'm going to grab for what you really came here for. So in the box, you get a Dose of Colors sticker. I already have one. You get a little Dose of Colors. Thank you for shopping at doseofcolors.com. We appreciate your business and hope you enjoy your new items. Thank you very much. You also get this banging little picture card with the two buttes on it, front and back. And then you get your items. I'm gonna go ahead and reach in here. This is what the packaging looks like. It is rose gold, that reflective kind. It has a dose of colors. On the top, it does have their signatures. So Luster Lux and Desi Perkins. On the back, it lists the colors and their ingredients. And this is the Girls, a four pan eyeshadow palette. This is what this amazing packaging looks like. It is very sparkly, glittery, luxurious, as they would say, rich, elite money that's all i got and this is what the palette looks like i have already swatched these shades so i do know what they look like but i have not played with them on my eyes just yet and we are going to be playing with turbo sign i think this is the color that everybody is most excited for i know i was and i am so excited to play with it so i'm gonna go ahead and pat that all over the lid 
They say that these are used best with your fingers. So I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm just going to, again, put this all over the lid. So now that that is on the lid, I'm going to go back in with this peachy, corally, pinky shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of diffuse that. Now I'm going to go back in with that dark plummy color and just darken up the outer edge. I'm actually going to grab my Morphe E18 brush and pick up that shade so that I can pack it on that outer V and make sure that it's super dark out there. I'm just gonna take a little cotton pad and some eye makeup remover. Make sure we have a nice, fine line. I am gonna take a little bit of Suze right here. This one in a harpoon, you are supposed to use wet. I am gonna try just dipping my pencil brush in here. This is the Sigma E30, and I'm gonna give my brow bone a highlight. So that's still a really pretty color and it's not even used wet. So I'd love to see it wet because I'm sure it is blinding. So I'm gonna put on a coat of my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. If you guys have not seen the video I did on this, I will leave it linked below or on the screen because I love this mascara. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in Demi G. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and all of that jazz. And then I will return to go ahead and finish the rest of the collection. All right guys, so I have my base almost done, but I did decide that I wanna go in a little bit darker on the lid. So I'm gonna go in real quick with that NYX palette again and grabbing this darker shade still on that Morphe R39. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in the crease and bring it towards the inner eye. I want our crease in a little bit towards the inner eye to be a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my E35 in that coral shade and just blend those edges so that everything is seamless. Taking my E5 in that very first color same thing, just making sure those edges are blended. So for that lower lash line, I'm gonna grab my M165, and again, the darkest shade right here, that kind of plummy brown. I'm gonna push that color right up against my lower lash line, closest to my lashes. I am gonna stop about half of the way because I want this to, in a way, match my upper lid. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M562 little buffing brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that coral shade and buff that out. And then I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes. For the inner corner, I'm going to be taking Suze again and just on my brush, I'm not gonna dampen it, I'm gonna highlight the inner corner. So now the eyes are done, the face is almost done. We're gonna go ahead and go in with probably what I'm most excited about and have been wanting to try. This is the highlighter. This is one of the highlighters in the collection and this is in Fuego. Oh my God. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush. Bitch. Oh my god, uh, holy, we are stopping traffic. We are stopping traffic, do you hear me? First, this highlighter is actually probably a little too yellow for me. Um, I would need to mix this in with something else, but it is stunning. It is beautiful and it, just radiates the skin and just makes it pop. Oh my God. I'm a sucker for a good highlight and this is a damn good highlight. This collection is supposed to come back this month sometime. They have not announced an official date yet. So if they have, by the time that I put up this video, I will leave it in the description box. The only items that I did not get from the collection are the Mirame highlighter and over, no, and the liquid lip in savage which 
honestly, when they restock, I think I'm going to snag those two items. I didn't think that I would wear them a lot, but when I saw Desi do this look in her wear Sauvage with it, oh my gosh, I just needed that color instantly and regretted not getting it. I did end up getting three products though. Oh, the one I didn't get was more creamer please. That was the other nude lipstick. It just would look way too orange and too butterscotchy on my skin tone. So that is why I did not get that one. But I did get the No Shade Lipstick, the Over the Top Gloss, and Hot Fire Matte Lipstick. I am going to swatch all three of these for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start with Hot Fire because it's the brightest, of course. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is nude, of course, like the rest of the packaging. It is beautiful. Smooth feeling tube. Feels very matte, of course, because it is. It says Dose of Colors, and then it has the gold or rose gold top. Here is Hot Fire. Of course, it doesn't really go with this eye look, but I do just want to swatch it for you guys. So here is the hand swatch, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So this is Hot Fire fire on and dry this is such a fun and out of the box color for me you guys know i <laughs> go for my nudes which we're about to put on so this is it so now that that is off i'm gonna go in with the lipstick that i had planned to wear for this this is no shade by desi and katie and dose so let's put this on real quick this is just what no shade looks like it's very moisturizing, it's very creamy and smooth, and it just went right on. So now I am going to go ahead and go in with the Over the Top Gloss. I am such a gloss girl, and this gloss is everything. It just made that lipstick stand out that much more, and it is so juicy. Alright guys, so this is the final look using the Desi X Katie with Dose of Colors collaboration. I absolutely love how this look came out. It was everything that I kind of wanted it to be. Thank you Desi for the inspo on that. This collection was amazing and I'm definitely glad I picked it up. Again, if they announce the restock, I will leave that down below in the description bar. So be sure to check that out. Before you leave, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. So you don't ever miss any more uploads from me. Be sure to hit that bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And will you guys be picking anything up from the restock? Did you pick anything up? Final thoughts on this collection. I really enjoyed everything. The one downfall I will mention. This took forever to get to me. And I know people that ordered from them and said the same thing. I completely understand this was a huge launch for Dose of Colors. It was their first collaboration ever. Desi and Katie are really big YouTubers both. They have combined, I think, over 3 million subscribers combined. I get it. It's a big launch. And I understand that Dose of Colors was working nightly. They were working overnight. They were putting in the work. And I completely understand. And I am so grateful for that. But as a consumer, this took almost two weeks to get to me. And that is a tremendously, is that the word? Tremendously? It took a really long time to get to me. And I know a bunch of other people were aggravated. I do have a decent amount of patience. So it was starting to get under my skin and I was checking my shipping every single day. But it's whatever. I ended up getting the collection. Everything came to me perfect. It is perfect and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to play with all of the other shades in the palette. And yeah, I really enjoyed this guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.